Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Bubbloon, aka Pabloon, and today we are taking a look at a new premium ship. This is actually a pan European premium ship, and this is the Ellie. And if you think this looks like a certain or specific Italian cruiser, well, then you're not wrong. This is modeled after the Duca degli Abruzzi. Or, no, sorry, the Duca d'Osta, the tier 6. And uh, yeah, it's. Um, that, that's it. It gets precise aim and sonar. And you end up with some, um, instead of having sap, you have HE this time. Decent fire chance, 4%, and the AP slaps on this thing. You get three torpedoes, and it's actually, the funny thing is, these are, they're called Lancia Siluri, so basically they're the same torpedoes as the Italian ones, but they're completely different. I mean, they have 5 kilometer range, they do less damage, they go faster, so they are pan-European torpedoes. But Wargame have been kind of lazy and not, um, you know, change the torpedo name. Or maybe I, maybe that's on purpose. I don't know. But anyways, this ship is pretty basic. And I'm not going to go too much into detail about it. Because it, it is just a Duca de Osta with different skills. And this is the commander build I went with. Tried to go for APCS to see how good can this thing get in a tier 6 matchup. And then we have these equipment modules in. The camo here is... Uh, it's a pretty cool camo, I guess. Very odd looking. It looks like a ship of some sort. But, you know, it, it gives some good skills too. But compared to this thing, it gives really, really bad skills. And once again, Wargaming are leaning into these no camo type deals. I think, I think this is, again, very sad to see. I don't know, maybe they've run out of camo schemes. But to, to, be, to be honest, I don't feel like you can charge people for this. It doesn't really change. It changes the hue of the ship to look better. Uh, that's about it. So we're going to be rocking this thing. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to hop into a game, see what the first impressions are. I have played this ship a couple times, two or three times before I made the video. Um, but yeah, I never got around to making this because I had an, a finals assignment I had to do. So now that's done, I can actually play the game. Alright, here we go, the Ellie. So uh, we are playing on NA like uh, I usually do with the press account. It is the 23rd of March, so it's a, it's a Saturday today. So let's hope we don't run into too many bots on these uh, on these matches. Anyways, I would have loved to get if we had maybe, you know, since these torpedoes are going to be very short range, I would have loved to see them give us six per side instead of three. You know, there's space for one extra here. I don't see why we couldn't have that. You know, make it this make this a kind of uh, well, it's already a really good destroyer hunter. So given it extra torpedoes that are you know the fast types, the EU type. I think that would be great fun, actually. Uh, we got a Hamat over there. I think we're going to try out our HE. Just see what we can uh, set, set some fires on this setup here. Coco Puff. Let's go with the precise aim. Oh, he's going to go for us here. Now, Synup does have the fast acting damage cons, so um, we have to be a little bit careful not to overextend too much and, you know, sit in this fight we can't win. So he is coming this way, but I'm hoping the battleship will, uh, the Andrea, Andrea Doria will take his, uh, attention away. Oh, we got a Rahmat here. Rahmat. Rahmat. I don't know, is, isn't it Rahmat? Feels like, I feel like the H is really a, 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 a H. I don't know what that's called. Probably have some Dutch people here that can tell us what that sound is called in your, in your, you know, alphabet. The H uh, sound. We're still no fires on this guy. Um, yes, I would have loved to get maybe one or two. But by this point, we do have a you know four percent is okay. It's not the highest. It's you know high, for a DD that would be very high fire chance. But for this thing, it's still not bad. You know four percent is doable. Definitely is doable. And if we could get a fire on this guy before we launch our torps, that would be great. Nah, he will definitely. Uh... Damn, I actually don't think those are gonna hit. I'm going to be completely honest here, because he is sailing away. It was a very risky turn here. Oh, he did not have his guns up. Awesome. Awesome, mate. Stop here and get these other torpedoes off. Oh, he didn't fire at me. Wow. Now, there's a DD in front of us. That's the Ernst Gede. Okay. I mean, don't mind if I do. 
I'll go out and fight this guy. Seems like a good idea. I don't think these are going to hit, unfortunately. So this is what I mean. I would have loved to have a little bit more range on these tor torpedoes. That would have been fun. Alright, let's stop here and uh, wait till he fires his torps. We hit the enemy. He's not doing that, so yeah. Okay. Yeah, you see that the, the torpedoes are very low damage, just like the other pan-European stuff. But they have speed. That is your main weapon with this. He did fire his torpedoes there, so... Well Let's not get nice killed by those. Alright, cool. I think he's a dunzo. Yay, there we go. Alright, we're gonna do another game, because like this this was just... There was no, no real testing here. Okay, that's kind of funny. We're fighting a Duca de Osta. Alright, but guys, this is the, the, you know, the twin lineup here. We got the Ellie, and we got the Duca de Osta. It is, um, a blockade of the Spanish... Wait, what the... Wait, where is this thing from? Okay, it says here, the cruiser was used for making official visits by the King of Greece. So it's a Greek ship. Okay, well, I, I can say one thing here. I'm very happy this is a Greek ship. You know why? Because the Lambros Katsonis is probably about the most sad introduction for the greeks so greek rejoice be happy you guys i mean you deserve it your lovely country with good food happy people and yeah they deserve to have a nice ship and the le is a nice ship it's a good ship i won't i won't lie um but is it a ship that you know you should throw your money at i don't think so oh again we have he loaded got a farragut coming in i'm just gonna see what we can do to this uh duca I mean, I wouldn't mind doing a lot of damage to him here. Let's see, that's a torp on Oliver the best. Only the best for you, Oliver. Oh boy. That is... It's close. No lag torp for me today. Riveroni. Alright, he's done. Cool. We'll go for the Duca de Osta now. You see that AP, guys? It is no joke. And he's firing sap and just doing barely any damage to us. <laughs> Yet another just completely easy shot there. Okay, we're, we're close to some battleships here. Byron just fired. Andrea Doria just fired. I'm gonna go behind this rock here and just wait because, uh, yeah, they're fucking me up big time. Holy shit. Oh, I do hope my team is able to. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Do not peek out. Do not peek out. Stop. Oh, reverse. REVERSE! REVERSE! PLEASE! Please reverse, please reverse, please reverse. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, we are so close to death. Oh! <laughs> this, this guy, Andrea Doria, he's gonna have a fit here in a moment, guys. You see this? We're still alive. <laughs> oh my god, this is, this is great. There you go, he's, he's just fired. He's just fired both of his main guns. Hello? Shoot him, guys. Shoot him quick. Shoot him quick. Yeah, baby. Let's go. <laughs> 1300 HP. <laughs> like, okay, the boy's back. Let's go for him. You know what? I'm just going to bow in like this. Just rush him and bow in. See what he does about this. Well, he does have secondaries. Oh, again, I would really like some more range on these bad boys. There's torpedoes here, but... Oh, wow. <laughs> But I, one thing I do find very annoying is that the fact that they've made the historical camo look so bad. So, you know, it's, it's a blatant tactic for you to spend money on the crates so you can get this camo instead. Like I said, I don't know how it's going to release, but if it's going to be in a crate, you, you can bet your ass that's why they made these historical camos so bland compared to the, you know, special one. I, I do think it's a very, very sad strategy for more gaming. And we've seen it with so many ships. We saw it with Leipzig. We've seen it with Gdansk. Pretty much most ships that come out nowadays have one of those camos that are just blatantly, you know, made so you can buy the special one. And if you also look at the skills of the special one, it's all typically a lot better. The st stats, I mean. A lot better, actually. Oh my god. You see what this AP does to destroyers, guys? It's a really good DD Hunter. Ah, bad salvo for my part. I think the Acasta is dead. Yep. Same as the Emil Bertan. 
Can we get the double strike? Oh, come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. Yeah, there it is. Double strike. We got a Xian Wei. Okay. Oh, I think I'm just going to bow in this guy. I think he's going for my battleship right behind him. Or cruiser. Oh! <laughs> Big damage. And he should be done too. Nah, he's not done. Are you kidding me? Come on, Galisonair. Shoot him, bro. Shoot him, Galisonair. That Galisonair is blind. Okay, now there's a Mackinson on my broadside. I don't think that's a plane. Uh, th this guy, Panther, again. It's the, it's the same battleships I just played against. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Give it, give, him, give me a break, boys. Give me a break. Right, we're just going to make a run here. Get the frick out of dodge. Um, don't want to live... With a Mackinson on my broadside, on my my tail, I should say. He's just ch yeah, he's chasing us. Okay. Ow! 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 He does hurt. He does hurt. Oh, what the fuck is that? Is that my teammate? I th I'm, I'm hoping that's my teammate. Oh yeah, it is. Good. Nuremberg. Nuremberg should be pretty easy damage here. We just gotta run from the Mackinson, really. Um. Fuck, he's right there, dude. Oh my god, he's pushing! Stop it, boys! Stop the push! Oh no, our hill, our hill is dead. Oh, Andrea Doria! No, 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 not me, not me. I didn't ask for this. Oh my god, boys. Okay, we're gonna run now. There's much else we can do here. Oh, here we go. Man, we are getting mad focused these games. Okay, wow! They actually got him. Uh, now Andrea Doria is going to shoot him. Oh, yeah. We're dead. <laughs> Fuck me, man. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. We are um, still here. Still here. One thing I will say. Yeah, you, don't, you, you should really not get close. I think we've seen that in this game. That this is probably best to be played at range. Most likely. And then uh, just be careful. Not going close to brawling battleships. See, we have to wait for our heal, man. We can't open up right now. Just wait and see until he fires, then we can then we can open up. Ah, his guns are pointing the other way. I'm I'm good with that. Oh. There we go. He just fired. Great. He just fired. Boom, there it is. John Matrix. So my review of this ship. And good DD hunter. Good cruiser hunter. It's got some great AP damage. Um but other than that, and okay, great dispersion as well, hence it's a good DD hunter. But other than that, I don't think there's much to say about the Ellie. It's a, finally a good Greek ship. We haven't had one of those. But um, yeah, it, it's a ship. And I hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed the review, because uh, it, it looks like it was supposed to be out tomorrow or yesterday, but none of the other YouTubers have made a video on it, so... I thought maybe, <laughs> maybe the community would like to know what this thing is because, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be coming out at some point. So that is it. This is the game we survived, finally made it. We won two out of three games. I'll accept that. Now I'll go fight a Andrea Doria, run up to it. Like I said, I should, you shouldn't do this, but I, I I'm going to do it. I'm going to shoot in just a second here. Oh, zero pens? You kidding? Come on. There we go. Oh no, he can, what? You can shoot your mate? What? Okay, good. He's can't aim. This guy missed us a couple times now. Rip. We even get our extra heal off. Okay, he's gonna smoke up here. Um. Hey, I'm gonna go catch him with my torps. I feel like that's the play. No. Probably going the other way. Maybe our sonar can catch him. We're lucky. Oh, yep. There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, rest in peace, bro. You missed again? That's some god tier shit dispersion. You just look the god down there. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll die here for this. I'll die for these torpedoes. It don't matter, bro. It don't matter. It's just torpedoes. Come on, 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 come on. We got him off, we got him off. Wait, they didn't... Wait, what? Excuse me? Pretty sure I got those torpedoes off. And I'm pretty sure they went straight through his hole. That's okay. That's okay. GG. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. We are 
done with this review of this ship. Like I said, I think it's um, it's a good boat. It's better than the Duca d'Osta, if you ask me. But is it something you should be throwing your money at? I don't know about that. It's um, If you want to hunt DDs effectively in this game, you could also just play the Nuremberg. The Nuremberg's torpedoes have just the same range, and they have more damage. Yeah. Fun boat. Decent out the, pa out the bat, you know, it, off the bat. It's a good boat. It's not underpowered or anything, but yeah, that's it. It's uh, another one, kind of stale. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for more content. I will be working on the Elbing Legendary Mod Review, so uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. See you guys. My name is Bob Loon, aka Pabloon, and I am signing out.